This is a superhuman high school where every student has superpowers. This girl can control ice. She turns bullies into ice sculptures. This girl can split. She makes a cheerleading squad all by herself. Alex is a very fast runner and he likes to hang out with Luke and bully the newbies. Will is a freshman, but no one dares to bully him because his parents are superheroes. His father protects the city. He's strong and tough. His mother is a superhero. She can fly at supersonic speeds and has great hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Will is very lucky to be born into such a family, but Will still doesn't know what his powers are when he arrives at school. Today is the interest ceremony for the new students. According to the rules, they have to be divided into classes first. Those with strong powers will go to the hero class, while the others will go to the loser class. The first one to take the test is Mike. Although he wore glasses and looked like a nerd, he immediately transformed into a stone giant. Next was Nancy, and her superpower was to turn into a guinea pig. She was assigned to the loser's class. When it was Will's turn, everyone started to look forward to his superpower. The coach put down a car and nearly killed Will. Seeing Will dodge, the coach thought his superpower was flying. However, <coughs> Will was injured on his first day of school. When it's time for lunch, he's caught by Luke and falls to the ground. Spilling his food on Tom, Tom was so angry that he started attacking Will with flames. Will rushed to hide under the table to avoid the attack. At this critical moment, he suddenly appeared his bad superpower. He lifted the table and threw Tom away. Will was so happy that he went home to tell his father the news. But when he opened the door, he broke it. Dad took him to the family's secret base and they hugged each other. Ow! Sorry. Ow! You are strong! This bald man is the teacher of the hero class. His head is full of wisdom and his bald head means he's very smart. Will was promoted from the loser class to the hero class after awakening his superpower. He was at the same table with Wendy, the student council president. They went to the cafeteria to eat together and met students from their previous classes. Emily suddenly appeared and took up all the seats through superpower. Mary was so embarrassed that she had to say she'd sit somewhere else. We're not running a loser outreach program. <laughs> Even at Superman's school, there's a lot of class discrimination. Will doesn't like it. He asks Mary to go to dinner with him tonight and apologizes for the lunch thing. Before that, they had to attend a hostage rescue training program. Will teams up with Tom, and they go up against Alex and Luke. As soon as the fight started, Luke teamed up with Alex. Will and Tom were thrown away. Tom is very angry. He has flames coming out of his body. Luke lets go of him immediately. On the other side, Will is fighting against Alex, but he's too fast. Will's losing ground. He jumps into the air and slams down, lifting the floor. It's getting better, but Alex is catching Tom's weakness. He spins at high speed, creating a vacuum. Tom can't put out a fire and feels a little suffocated. His teammates are trapped, and on the other side are the hostages. Will is hesitant. He decides to save Tom and throw him to the hostages. They finished the mission at the last second. In the evening, Mary waited for Will at the restaurant, but she never saw him. So she went to Will's house and saw him with Wendy. He was having a party at his house. Wendy took Will away from her. Then Wendy told Mary that she was very ugly and fat and that she was no match for her. Mary gets angry and leaves. Will is very confused. What they didn't know was that this was actually Wendy's plot. Her real identity is the villain. She came to Will's house to steal the baby gun. One day, Will's parents went to a school festival, but they fell for Wendy's trap. She shot a baby gun and turned Superman into a baby. Alex, Luke, and Emily became her accomplices. The door was securely locked. Tom found the vent. They escaped through the ducts, but were met by these three villains. They wanted to take the escape piece back. Then Luke was pushed into the toilet, Alex was smashed into the wall, and Emily was tied up with vines. On the other side, Will and Wendy got into a fight. They are equal in strength, but Wendy is protected by her armor. She punched Will and sent him flying. Just as he's about to fall, he suddenly displays his mother's powers. Will can fly? He punched Wendy and knocked her out. In the end, the teacher reset the baby gun and restored everyone to their original state. The villains are imprisoned and Will and his friends become superheroes. This is where the story ends and the movie is called Sky High. The movie is as inspirational as most Disney productions. If you're interested, you can watch the original movie. This is the end of the story. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.